The Pirates have landed at the Kiston Jet Port, and our very own sports director, Billy Weaver, was on the plane with the team, a victorious team returning from the Hawaii Bowl and their victory over Boise State. There's Bo Billy Weaver wearing another uh, festive Hawaiian shirt there. And Billy, 10-hour flight, you don't look so worse for the wear. How's the team? I'll tell you what, the atmosphere here in Kenston is unbelievable. I know there are hundreds of Pirate fans here cheering, let's go Pirates. When we got off the team plane, they were yelling purple and gold. Skip Holtz got off and immediately came over here to all these fans. He's been signing autographs. He's actually begin, been giving people kisses through the fence. But we want to show you this. Eric Lewis, come on over here. Eric's the equipment manager here for East Carolina's football program. Sheraton, Hawaii Bowl, December 23rd, 2007. That's one heck of a trophy there, Eric. And I bet that thing weighs about 25, 30 pounds. About 50 pounds. 50 how, pounds. How did it feel carrying that thing back on the plane? Awesome, awesome. Well deserved. I tell you what, the players love this. And the players are coming right through now, giving high fives to all the fans. And these are the guys that made it happen. The big upset victory over Boise State. And some of these guys just really stepped up big. Chris Johnson set a uh, bowl record. Hey, CJ. Come on over here for a second. C.J. Wilson, Beaufort County native, former Northside High School star. What's it feel like getting off the plane and seeing all these fans? Hey, it's, 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 it's big. Everybody was uh, surprised to see all these fans out here, you know, for, uh, supporting us as much. You know, coaches like, you know, go out there and, and you know, just cheer on, you know, uh, thank, thank them for coming. It's a big feeling. It's a big, you know, big feeling because, you know, we, a lot of the, 98% of the country didn't think we could do it, so it's great. Eric Lewis over there has got that Hawaii Bowl trophy that's going to sit over in the Murphy Center forever. forever. How's that feel? That feels good because, like I said, 98% of the world, Coach Holtz has said, not ain't nobody thought we could do it. And so it feels great. We, everybody still believe it. We beat Boise State in the, the Sher Sheraton and Hawaii Bowl, so it feels great. Congratulations. Right. CJ, go over there and congratulate all the yeah. fans as well. We'll catch up with another, uh, another one of the players. Hey, Fred, can we get you real quick over here? Fred Wilson, outstanding linebacker. Fred, what's it feel like to have all these Hordes of fans out here congratulating you guys on your victory. Uh, it was wonderful, man. We have um, we have good friends, you know, good partners. They came all over out here for Christmas Eve and cheer us on after a big victory over Boise State. Uh, it, it was very wonderful, man. It's a good feeling. The world knows about East Carolina now. It was the only bowl game on yesterday. You guys were a ten and a half point underdog. What's it mean to put East Carolina up on that pedestal like that? It means a lot, you know. Uh, after this bowl game, I ho hopefully we have earn a lot of respect for other teams, you know. As they say in the newspaper, they thought we were Division I AA, but I mean, can you tell after the game we just played, we won, we won single way. Fred, congratulations. Go over there and uh, get with the fans. They, You can enjoy this moment for a while. The man in charge, Skip Holtz. Skip, congratulations on the Hawaii Bowl victory. You come out here and you shake all hands. I saw you giving some kisses through the fence. I mean, stepping off the team plane, I was right behind you when we got off the plane, and everyone just erupted when you got off. What does that feel like? Oh, it's incredible. It's just, uh, this, is, this is just such a great feeling, and the Pirate Nation have been just unbelievably supportive of this program. And, these players have worked so hard, and we've just we've all, we're all building it together. Everybody's got a little role in it, and the fans have just been absolutely incredible. From selling that stadium out on season tickets to making such an unbelievable home atmosphere, and the student body, and the way these players are playing, it's just it's all coming together, and it's just really neat to see this Pirate Nation and this Pirate program growing together. From the time that this East Carolina team hit the football field yesterday at Aloha Stadium, I kind of felt it. You looked at the guys, they were flying around. They took it seriously. Some of the quotes in the newspapers, one double-A opponent, some of the Boise State players were talking about, you guys were a ten-and-a-half point underdog. Nobody was giving you a chance, but these football players, they believed in themselves, and they went out and they did it. They did, and that was the key to the whole thing. They believed, and we talked about having the opportunity to put a put our mark on this thing. And the B, the, Right now, Boise State was known as probably one of the better BCS programs in the country with, with what they did a year ago with Oklahoma and the Fiesta Bowl, and we felt like this was really an opportunity to put ourselves on the map. And, you know, you look at the schedule we play with the Virginia Techs and the West Virginias and the in-state rivals with North Carolina and NC State, you're not you're not going to win all of those. You know, there's some great programs in there. But at the same time, I think it's helped us raise our program to a level of expectation where that's where we belong, and that's the only way that we're going to turn and be able to get there. And I think those caliber games and the attitude of these players, are those are the things that help us get over the hump and believe in a game like this against Boise State.
Mahalo for the interview. Melakaliki Maka, Aloha, and all the rest. <laughs> I still have my Hawaiian shirt on. I think I'm going to don this purple and gold Hawaiian shirt for quite some, some time. Enjoy it and have a Merry Christmas. I'll tell you what, Melakaliki Maka. <laughs> I'm going to get that out. Normally, i got to do it slow, but I'm getting better. <laughs> That's right. Aloha. It's great to be home. Thanks a lot. That's Skip Holtz, East Carolina's head football coach of the Hawaii Bowl champions. We'll have much more on all the festivities here at Kinston and a full wrap up of East Carolina's trip to the islands. And Skip Holtz gets a big hug from one of his best buddies, Drew Steele, who wasn't, wasn't able to make the trip. We'll have much more coming up tonight at six o'clock. We'll send it back to our Washington studio.